going up uh, to the ridge to try to find this Comet Lemon, and I'm going to use my 12-inch telescope. I made a video last night. I haven't got it uploaded yet, but I used my Sony A7S and a 15 or a 50 millimeter lens. But that comet gets right down low on the horizon, right at sundown. And I filmed it at four in the morning. But we have a clear sky, and that comet's over there to the north, right under the Big Dipper. And with my 50 millimeter lens, on my Sony A7S, just straight up, I could not see it very well at all. It was a green dot. But I'm going to put that video up, time lapse, actually just sped up. It's video mode, it's not a pictures. But right now, we're heading up, way up on top of the ridge. I live down in a dripless area where there's a lot of valleys. I'm down in a valley. My normal spot is pretty high, but not high enough. There's still trees up, a couple of hills in the way. I'm going to have to park along the road, pull out my 12-inch Dipsonian, put the A7S up to it. i got a limited amount of time before that comet drops tonight. I do it in the morning, but it's supposed to cloud up. Then i got to work all week. I can try to get it over with. Maybe I'll hit some other objects in there too. We'll see. Hopefully my scope's right and good. Well, I am not seeing a Big Dipper yet. So, we'll get out there and get set up. All right, here's my uh, scope. I got it out. I just laid it in the back of the truck. And we got it pointing up in that general direction. I am going to go ahead and find it. It's my 12-inch Dipsonian Apertura. Uh, Pretty big scope, and right there is my Sony A7S hooked directly to it, prime. I do have another lens. I do not believe I'll be using that. Um, I'll try turning the regular white light on. It's an older scope. I've had it quite a few years. Really gets the job done. Uh, impressed with it. Bang for buck. About as good as you could get having a hard time finding it. There's so much traffic here. A lot of moving objects. I don't know if that's it or not. It's bright and hazy. But I don't think it is. It'll be right in here somewhere. There it is. I found it to the north. Try to get a couple pictures of it. 
I'm at 320,000 ISO, 115 second shutter speed, full uh, video mode, 4K. I'm going to take a couple pictures. I ain't got a lot of time. Yeah, we got her. Pretty neat. It's pretty good. I don't think I'm going to bring any magnification up on this. I'm just going to try to uh, make sure it's sharp. That's 102,000 ISO, one tenth shutter speed. Got a lot of stuff flying around in the sky. But I found it. Took a couple pictures. If it gets darker, maybe I'll take more. Not sure why them lines are coming in. It's like my camera's got some kind of interference up here. I got major power lines right by me. I'm out in the middle of nowhere, but the neighbors got something going on and their traffic's just unreal. I don't know, film this at a higher frame rate, lower frame rate, with high ISO, see if anything passes by. Then we might find Andromeda, I'll just show you that quick. Definitely got something going on for interference. I'm looking actually right through power lines right now. Swear to God, there's only like maybe five cars a night come up and down this road. And neighbor up on the hill obviously got something big going on. There's cars everywhere over there. Here's a pretty good view of it in video mode. Except they got my shutter shutter uh, down to one fifth of a second. You know, I think I'm going to call it a night with video in this. It's like so close to the horizon. We got a tractor running over there, leveling out some silage, hailage, and that's uh, real loud and bright light. But I found it. I might point at the Andromeda here. We'll see. I got my green laser pointer there, so... There it is. Holy moly. That lights right up, don't it? That's the Andromeda Galaxy. Was it like 2.5 million light years away? I'm going to have to take a quick picture of that with my Sony here. Oh, there goes a satellite or something. That's pretty neat.
Okay, I'm going to leave my shutter speed at one quarter of a second. You can see there's some lines across the top. I'm not sure that that's the, to do with the Andromeda Galaxy. But the picture showed it better when I did it. But now I can see it through my viewfinder. Oops. Trying to move it over just a little bit. Just to the right and above the center part of the galaxy. It's defined lines. Never seen that before. I've looked at it before. There's nothing in the way either. Pretty weird. Pretty neat. I want to turn my shutter speed back up. And then I got to turn the ISO back up. You can still see it. But it's a little more blurry. I think I'm going to have to call it quits for tonight. Uh, the moon is going to be coming up. Which. Good way to. Good way to round to film that, I guess. A lot of satellites and stuff moving in space. What's that? That's right by the comet. Oh, it's an airplane. I think. Yeah, it is. Pretty cool. Yeah, that's definitely the comet again. Or is it? Yeah, it is. See that white line? That's power line. Reflection of a car headlight coming down the highway. That's a bright star. At least I think it's a star. Pretty neat.
I was pulling the telescope by hand. There's the Pleiades right there. The small group of what they call it, seven sisters, seven stars. It's pretty neat. I'm going to shine this if I can. There's a dairy farm about a half a mile away. We're going to shine to it. I'm going to have to turn my ISO down. Shutter speed up. Yeah, that satellite dish. What are the Mennonites doing? Oh, probably for their phone. Satellite dish. German Baptist. It's a good 0.5 miles away. Pretty neat. Well, now it'll be it. That comet's so low to the ground you can hardly see it even cranked up. Found some other things too. That aperture at 12 inch, I really like the Dimsodians push twos. Throw it in a vehicle, you take it out, put the base down somewhere, carry the scope, set it on it, and start viewing. I've got a 12 inch Orion, and that thing's so cumbersome and heavy and hard to set up compared to that Dimsodian. Then you got that light bucket. They don't call them 12 inch Dipsonian's light buckets for no reason. They suck the light in. So there you go.